What's something that's incredibly immature that you will never stop doing? Aggressively flirting with my wife. Like, I get it. I won. You've already said yes. No take backs. But I am going to flirt with my wife and hit on my wife like I'm a 13-year-old boy. I am going to continue to make very inappropriate innuendos and use really cheesy pickup lines on somebody who has already said yes. Do you like raisins? How do you feel about dates? Are you a parking ticket? Because you have fine written all over you. If you were a fruit, you'd be a fine apple. Okay, yeah, that one actually is pretty bad. But that's the thing. I love seeing guys who absolutely love their wives. But when you see a couple that's legit ride or die, like old lady, old man kind of thing, it is the coolest thing ever. Because that's my best friend. And there's so many people who don't get it. But that's what makes it work. Like, when you're married, you have history. Like, not everything's going to be rainbows and butterflies, but I don't want to have to go make rainbows with new people. It's like having a really good inside joke, and then you try to explain it to somebody else, and they just don't get it, and they're like, how's that funny? And so you had to be there. Like, that's the history part of marriage. You had to be there. You had to know what happened for it to be fun. I love flirting with her and then her being like, what'd you do wrong? Or what do you want? Nothing, just you. And ladies, when your man says you look good in sweatpants and a hoodie, guess what? You look good in sweatpants and a hoodie. All that frou-frou lingerie stuff, it's kind of like wrapping paper. Sure, it looks good on the outside, but all your man's worried about is what's in that box. That's the thing. With marriage life, you get to the point to where there's a respect for your body because I've seen you without clothes on for medical reasons. There's something to be said about a man or a woman who's not willing to try something new because you got high blood pressure. Yeah, you stay married long enough, she'll tell you to chew up that pill. Yeah, you might want to take a Viagra and a Boniva because I'm about to wear them joints out. And that's the thing. She's going to steal the covers. She's going to tell you how to drive. She's going to drive you crazy. But she's also going to drive you crazy. I couldn't imagine trying to be with somebody else. Fellas, you ever had to pop the hood on a car you're not familiar with? That it? That? To the left, I imagine that's what it would be like. Story time. We were at the beach not too terribly long ago, and I watched this, like, 70-year-old man give his wife a little love tap on the behind. That's marriage goals right there. I want to be that happy, and the only way to do it is to not lose it, so I'm not going to stop aggressively flirting with her.